Hey, how are you doing? I'm Wyatt Swain. I'm Ben Whitener. Well, Ben, uh, what can I do for you today? Well, I'm looking to get some of these trim holes filled up on here. Um, this used to have trim that ran all the way down the side, and i uh, just looking to get rid of it and fill in the holes. Okay. So uh, what's the reason for removing the trim? Well, when I got it, um, the trim was all ate up, and it was just trash, and it wasn't worth uh, trying, to, trying to fix and put back on. Okay. So it was easier just to remove it and cover this. All right, so if, if I do weld repairs on here, you're going to polish it down and, and then smooth it out and paint it to where there's no holes or oh, yeah. appearance yeah. of holes at all. You're going to make it look like there was never anything there. Okay, well, we can do that. And what I'm going to, what I'm going to attempt here today is uh, to fill all the holes, both sides. And you'll see that I'll, uh, I'm going to TIG weld it, and I'm going to go in a circular motion, and then I'm going to add filler to it. Now, there's going to be a little bit of shrinkage. We have very good controlled shrinkage with the TIG process. So when I finish, he's going to have to polish it down, get it nice and smooth, and then he's going to have to put a little skim layer of Bondu or such uh, on there just to make sure you can't see the shrinkage marks. So uh, let me ask you, why would you have these filled up with weld as opposed to just putting Bondo in? Um, well, the Bondo, which actually somebody had Bondoed in the holes before, and it just cracks out and it just won't stay. Um, if you don't, if you don't uh, have something behind it, and it ends up being just a nicer product when it's when it's uh, welded in the way it's supposed to be. Okay, so you don't want to put a five thousand dollar paint job on here only to have the holes crack yeah, out. Yeah, because I could just push the bondo right through the back of the hole, and then I'd have a car with holes in it again. Well, Ben, what what year of car is this, and uh, what style? It's a '63 Chevy two. Um, most people know them as the Nova. Um, it's a two-door uh, post car. Uh, most of them that people want are the, the coupe, and they don't have the post, but I like it the way it is. Okay. What size of engine do you have in this? It's a 283 V8. Oh, great engine. Yep. Great engine. Hey, well, listen, uh, my machine will only reach out so far, so I'm going to have you bring the car in, and uh, I'll walk you in and, and give you a stop point. All right. Let's do it. Okay, I'm using my CK Flexhead 9 torch, mostly because I need to be able to bend this torch into different positions. And so I'm using about a 1 16th tungsten. I'm using a ER70S6 filler material. It's about 045 in diameter. So let's, uh, let's make another repair. Okay, well you can you can see there's um, there's a lot of foreign matter here, everything from primer to uh, masking. It looks like it's on the inside, so I gotta I gotta find a foundation of metal to start working with. So uh, I'm gonna use an aggressive wire wheel here. At least I got it down to uh, down to bare metal. There's, there's still a few things inside here I'm going to try to scrape out, but they're, they're quite a ways inside. They're likely to burn away as soon as I start, start my arc. And you can see they're 
they're still there, but that. But uh, I'll, I'll light an arc and they'll, they'll disappear. Okay, I'm, up, I'm at the back, back end of this car. There is just a little bit of uh, Bondo hanging on the inside. So, let me see, I'll make that same circle. Yeah, this hole is just a little bit larger in diameter, so it takes a little bit longer, a little more patience. And you can always see just a little bit of rust in these panels. Yeah, so, uh, the rust kind of bubbles a little bit and as you, as you add good alloy to it you can actually see it clean up yes yeah, so it's cleaning up pretty good Use the same technique, just went around in a full circle. You can see me adding the filler material. And it's pretty easy to, to polish off once this is done. have several starts and stops and all this. And you can let it cool off. Okay, I'm just going to blend it all in now. See how it looks. Okay. I can see a little bit of porosity there. I'll just try to bring that out to see how deep it is. Okay. A little there and a little there. Still got one piece of porosity. I'm gonna add some filler. That filler's got some deoxidizers in it that helps burn it out. Okay, got that one. You know, when you're TIG welding and you put a ground clamp real close to where you're welding, you don't have to be concerned about the electronics in your car, such as your battery. So just make sure you get this well grounded when you do this. You can, you can see I'm within six inches away, but you know, all of these that I have welded, my, my path is, is from where I welded to right here. So make sure you don't just clamp on the car somewhere. Okay. I'm not even adding filler yet. I'm just doing a burnout. There seems to be a little bit of Mondo or something in here.
Okay, I've got one hole I've got to fill in right here, but I do have direct access from the back side, so I'm going to put a little copper backup bar and clamp it in. And uh, it's always nice to be able to do that, but this is one of the few holes that I can do that. So I'll just fill it up the same way, and then the, uh, the penetration will be smooth on the back side. Well, Ben, uh, we filled in all the holes on both sides, all the way around, and uh, most of the welding on there went very, very clean. But every once in a while, you run into a rust pocket, and you can see it bubble. So when, when you get ready to, to sand this down or polish it down, you may get a couple of little rough spots that, that may open up. And as long as they don't up and open up too big, go ahead and just uh, put your body filler in there, just a skim coat, and it'll be good to go. All right. So uh, I'd, like to, I'd like to see this when you get it finished, so bring it back to us, if you will. All right, I'll do that. All right. Thanks for watching TIG Time. I'm Mr. TIG.